That's good play from Shibagi. He's just looking very, very cool here. So five game balls for Shibagi Jr. And that was nicely finished by the powerhouse. Well, that was close to being a fault. It certainly was. I think it was just above, but it was risky. And he's straight off the court. <laughs> And McGreed re replying that uh, the ball is wet, but uh, he is taking a little bit more time than perhaps. I uh, well, don't want to start required. talking about that and uh, start to see skidders. He says commentators don't sweat, Parky. At least you're not having to go out there on, uh, on camera. Dab me with a towel. It's going to be a stroke, obviously. Well, it's impressive from Shabagi. He's just getting on with his business here against a difficult opponent. A big man on the squash court, but a clever squash player. But that's not very clever. It's a stroke to Shabagi. So, with that stroke. Marwan El Shabagi going off court after 22 minutes. The crowd very, very uh, quiet here in this Egyptian battle. So Marwan El Shabagi leading two games to love. Everything's going well for Shabagi. Even the, uh, I mean, the change of pace is beautiful. He's, he's, he's doing some cross court lobs from the backhand side. He's, he's mixing it up perfectly. He's getting the ball running. Using disguise and delay, and it's too much for McGuid. That's an outrageous get, Parshi. Certainly was for someone of his size. Oh McGreed. wow! Wow, that was unbelievable. That was uh, the best rally we've seen. He pounced on that one, Joey. This third match. This first get here. Look at that. Actually, skid into there, and then. The reaction onto this uh, backhand volley, fantastically read. So five match balls for Moan El Shabagi for a quarter final place, and he's done it. First time. Yeah, Marwan El Shabagi, a nice uh, embrace there at the end between the two two Egyptians here in El Guna. And it's 11 6, 11 7, 11 5 in 32 minutes to Marwan El Shabagi. He's through to the quarterfinals.